Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the gasification process inside a gasifier chamber. The gasification process is a set of chemical reactions in which a carbon-based substance is converted to carbon monoxide, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The product of this process is considered as a renewable energy source that has many applications in industry. The present three-dimensional model is designed using design modeler software. The geometry of the model consists of two-piece cylindrical chamber, uh, one with 7.5 meter long and uh, 0.8 meter in diameter, so that the upper part has a length equal to 5 meter and the lower part has a length of equal to 2.5 meter. The lower part consists of two cones of either side of uh, it's in opposite direction. The meshing of the model has been done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured. Uh, this picture shows the mesh. From the scale mesh section, we can check all the domain extents in every direction and the dimensions. Also, we can view length unit and the gravity effect on the fluid is ignored. The energy equation should be activated because we are considering and investigating a gasification in a gasifier chamber. In the near wall treatment option, we select the standard wall function. Uh, because if the K epsilon turbulence model is used like in this simulation, it is not possible to simulate flow vortex near the walls. So a wall function must be defined, that is a standard wall function for this simulation, to investigate the fluid behavior near the wall. This model also assumes that uh, radiation heat transfer due to chemical reactions occurs inside the gasifier chamber and hence the P1 model is defined for simulation. The fuel stream enters the gasifier chamber from the lower area in the form of stagnant particles with a velocity of 30 meter per second and a specific temperature and also a specific mass flow rate. The flow of liquid water in the form of droplets with a Specific velocity, temperature and flow rate enters the chamber from the middle area and under the process of evaporation turns into water vapor to react the fuel particles. After clicking on the initialization button, we are ready to calculate the simulation. So. The number of iterations in this CFT simulation is equal to 250 and just by clicking on the calculate button the solution is starts. Here is the two dimensional pressure contour and also the incident radiation contour. And also the particle track release from the 0, 1, 2 and 3 injections is visible. A summary of the defining steps of the problem and its solution is given in the following table as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com. Hope you enjoy.